coming up, a speakeasy with a few tricks up its sleeve. My mind's blown, and I can't figure it out. When it comes to speakeasies, Hollywood has a deep history, as in deep underground. Though never officially acknowledged, many prohibition historians believe there exists a labyrinth of underground tunnels throughout Los Angeles that once served as a hidden highway for booze running and a roadmap to the city's illegal clubs. While we're in LA, we have to make a stop at one of the city's most iconic yet secretive destinations, the Magic Castle in the Hollywood Hills. I mean, I've been here one time. You to, have? To Kate there on our first date. What better way to impress a woman than to go into a secret world of magic? You're gonna love it. Yeah? You are gonna love it, yes. Established in 1963, the Magic Castle's maze of rooms and bars creates a private and intimate clubhouse setting for the Academy of Magical Arts members and their guests. This historic haunt pays homage to Prohibition-era speakeasies with its hidden entrance, members-only policy, and, of course, a secret password. Gentlemen, welcome to the Magic Castle. Pleasure. Is this your first visit? It is not. Ah, well, have at the owl over Thank there. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <laughs> have at the owl. So to get in, you got to grab that blue book. This one? Yep. Nope. You go first. I'll go first you gladly. Go first. I don't know who you're walking me into. You Not too shabby at all. Hi, guys. Welcome. Thank you. My name's Mike. Sean. Hi, Sean. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Mike J. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm going to go with the first one I see, the magic moment. The magic moment. Got some you champagne. Got it. I'm very feeling good like celebrating. <laughs> I'm in a celebratory mood. It's a good one. You guys are gonna like first this. time here. Got a tie on. I'm surprised you didn't make it shake itself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the magic castle, but we anything's possible. Oh. We have our moments. I am using the magic castle champagne. <laughs> this was actually from our 50th anniversary. Yeah. How about for you, my friend? What I'm gonna do the on? red mule. The Red Mule, you got it. That is a, a great drink also. So the Red Mule is our version of a Moscow Mule. Uh, but instead of vodka, we're going to use gin for this. We use an aviation gin. Cool. Thank you, Mike. My pleasure. Mm. That is a magical moment in my mouth. Bad, right? You'd like to see some magic? Oh, yeah, sorry, man. Please. I mean, that's why we're here. OK. Well, here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to start out with a card trick. I hope you guys like card tricks. Otherwise, we're in trouble. Jay, do me a favor. Give the deck a cut for me, please. Thank you very much. And the card you cut to, I don't want to see it, but please show it to him. You can show it around if you like. And show the camera. That's, that's, uh, that's your card. And set it back there for me when you're done. And we're going to lose that card right into the deck. OK. I'm going to find your card. But I'm going to challenge myself a little bit. I'm going to try to just cut to your card, okay. but only using one hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to use my left hand for this, make it a little bit more challenging. And I'll tell you what, I'm not going to look. Cut right there. Jack of diamonds? No. No. Really not? Really not. OK, uh, worst case scenario, 51 more tries at this. That's worst case. OK. I'm kidding, guys. I'm going to commit to one card and one card only. Watch it. Looks like this. One card flies through the air, caught at the that, fingertips. Okay. Because that, I'm, I'm already impressed. Off. Thank you. I'm just showing off. That's the jack of diamonds again. Yeah, that yes, is. Yes, it is, that is. I found your card the first time. <laughs> oh, the king of diamonds. I was so close the first time. I love it. My mind's blown, <laughs> and I can't figure it out. You guys want to see another one? Absolutely. You chose the card. Would you do me a favor? Name a number for me. Let's go between 1 and 10. Out loud? Yeah, 5 and 10. Let's make it hard. 7. 7. Look, guys, I'm going to make an X right here on the pad. Can you see the center? Yeah. Watch mm -hmm. the king of diamonds in the center of this pad. I'm only going to do this once, but I'll do it in slow motion for you. Watch. That card vanishes, not on top. That's still the jack, mm -hmm. not on bottom. You said seven. If mm -hmm. that king of diamonds were now down seven, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? No, yeah, um, <laughs> I'd be afraid. Don't even start it. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven. <laughs> Jeez. It's exactly seven napkins down is one card and only one card. Of course, it's your king of diamonds. Come on, You are man. insane. Thank you. Thank you. 
You are lucky I am male. Otherwise, I would be pregnant by morning. <laughs> you're I'm lucky you're right male. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be pregnant. <laughs> you guys want to see something else? I want to see yeah. what I want. I mean, this pull is... out the stops, buddy. I, I love... love. Yeah, this is being edited. miffed. Oh, uh, do me a favor, two silver dollars. Take a look at those, rub them together, make sure they're exactly what I just said they were, two solid silver dollars. American U.S. Mint made. All right, we're going to start like this. Both of these silver dollars will start right here in my left hand. My hands will not cross, my hands will not touch, but one of those coins is going to jump from this hand back to this what? hand. Shut up, dude. Whew. You know what? That wasn't fair. I said I was going to be fair. I showed you two coins, and I closed my hands. When a magician does that, you might think, that's when the tricky stuff happens. I don't know what happened, but he did something. If I were really being fair about this from the beginning, I should have done this. Two silver dollars, so I'm going to put them here at my fingertips. That way, if one of those coins goes across, you would be able to see the Dude. exact moment. Guys, I want you to see nothing extra, nothing stuck to my hands or in between my fingers. I can't be more fair. I show you two silver dollars. Coin three comes right here from midair, invisibly. Still invisible until I make it visible for you just like that. Coin Jeez. number three. You are insane. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to make sure there's not a, a thing. <laughs> just like a... Oh, I'm sorry. That is crazy, yes, man. Bar magic like this started in, in Chicago in the 1930s. Magic um, And there's just not a lot of places to find it. The Magic Castle is a very special place. It is a place that doesn't exist anywhere else? Nowhere else. This is Mecca for magicians. Yeah, man. Certainly back in the in the 70s and 80s, you would have seen, you know, Copperfield and Doug Henning and all of the stage magicians here as well. I like that you have to be invited to come here. Yeah. Yeah, one of the most exclusive nightclubs in the world. Right? You have to know somebody at least to get in, so. Where else are that many magicians congregate in one place. It just doesn't happen, you know? And to be invited into it, and every room you go into, magic is happening. It's amazing, amazing place.